It's Kathleen, quite a surprise there. Uh, could you hear me hooting and hollering clear over there in Hong Kong? I think this is great. You know, I read all the analyses and, well, here's why they're going to do 25. And, you know, there's a couple people thought they would pause. But don't ever, ever underestimate Adrian Orr, governor of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. You guys know that as well as I do. He doesn't mind surprising. He was one of the most aggressive, if not the most aggressive, right up there at the top of, of central bankers way back in 2021, coming out, hiking rates, doing big hikes. Uh, so this is is, in a way, it doesn't surprise me because when we, we were showing that chart, you know, for the last few hours of the cash rate versus the inflation rate, the inflation rate is at 7.2 percent. It is peaked. It's hardly coming down at all. Uh, I guess we, we could say it's a little surprising because they did have that unexpected, you know, very small contraction in fourth quarter GDP, never left it. It was contractionary and the cyclone damage uh, in the first quarter may show up in some more weaker growth. But it seems to me that perhaps what they're trying to do is signal that we are serious. And I think uh, they, what did they say? I'm looking at the headlines, um, that they seem to have opened the door that maybe this is, you know, they haven't really said it, but a big one and now they're going to slow down. Uh, I would guess though, uh, you know, solar growth needed to return inflation to target. So when they say they expected growth to slow in 2023, that's what they want to see. It's like the Fed Reserve. We have to see final demand slowing. We have to see these things, you know, taking the pressure off prices. So the extent of demand and demand moderation to deter future policy. So in a way, don't you think that they have uh, left the door open to things working out the way they see and not having to do more or leaving the door open to even more? It's pretty, it's pretty amazing, though, isn't it? Yeah, it, it really is. So just as I'm speaking right now, I'm just looking at the Kiwi dollar here. So just six tenths of 1%. You had the initial spike higher. Um, and don't mind my profile, by the way, just because my graphic's right here. Uh, we're now up six tenths of 1%. So we're coming off a little bit from, from the highs of the day. But still, uh, we're still up, Kathleen, against just about every single peer here of uh, the Kiwi dollar. Can you zoom in, Kathleen, on that point you just made, just to ask you a follow-up here? that the RBNZ says the extent of demand moderation uh, will determine future policy. Are they telling us they haven't really seen rate hikes or past rate hikes move the needle just yet on this? Maybe not maybe enough, Dave. I think that's a good question. I think that's one of the very important issues here, and we're going to have to see what their policy statement says. Now, remember, this is a monetary policy review meeting, and that means there's no press conference, and there won't be the they have they do the best you know economic inflation reports. I think of just about any central bank in the world. We won't get one of those. That's every three months, and that's a monetary policy statement meeting, which will come next. So we won't have as much elaboration on what happened here and why they did it. But it seems to me we have to. Uh, assume or figure, yeah, maybe that's what it is, that they, when they said they thought that the, uh, in, what was probably back in November, that the, um, uh, that the cash rate, the official cash rate would get up to five and a half percent and they saw that maybe as enough, they probably are hoping it's still enough, but when they see the inflation rate is so high and it's not coming down, they also saying that the cyclone actually increases the risk of inflation expectations staying high, that damage and I guess all the things that came from that. Uh, so, you know, it's, uh, I think you're right though. I think that's a very one important one to focus on. Here's my profile now. The extent of demand moderation will determine the future <laughs> policy. And, uh, you know, and, and so they are waiting to see. And presumably we'll be hearing from Adrian Orr in days and weeks to come, other kinds of speeches and things. Uh, but isn't it interesting when someone, so many people could be taken, you know, off guard and so many of us could be so wrong on what they were going to do and what they did.